Okay, so Mel is a setter on our volleyball team. Uh, they have a game today. She usually gets taped uh, for wrist hyperextension. She uh, fell a while back, and ever since then, she's kind of had that pain when she gets into some extreme hyperextension ranges. So we're going to tape that support that for her game today, like we always do. Uh, so Mel, obviously, you're a setter. Um, yeah. You're not allowed to say any tape or spray. I'm I'm, not. Yep, I've taped you before, so yeah. you're good there. Um, first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to look at the wrist. So this is her injured wrist. We're going to prepare them. Looking for any deformities, protrusions, abrasions, burn signs, lacerating, swelling, flip them over. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary, so we're good for that. Uh, we're also going to check for sharp. Mel, of course, I have permission to help you with of this course. today. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so we're going to check for sharp. So looking for any swelling, I'm not seeing any. Looking for any heat differences. Altered function, she's playing, she just likes to support. Redness, not seeing any redness, and pain. Sometimes when she gets into that hyperextension zone. Uh, we're also going to check our PMS over here before we tape. So just... Comparing that, that's good. Just wiggle your fingers. Yeah, yep. and you can feel that. Yeah, good. All right, so no problems to uh, tape Mel today. So we'll start. So we'll spray here with uh, the tape adherent, spraying that kind of upper forearm region and wrist region, and a little on that hand. Okay, so now that's done, we're gonna put our first anchor. So Mel, I'm gonna want you to make a fist, and right where those forearm muscles kind of end and taper, that's where we're gonna put the anchor up here. And she's holding that wrist nice and tight. Our next anchor is now going to be in the hand. So you open your hand up. Uh, almost like you're holding a pop can. Yep, we want you in that functional position. Okay. There we go. Okay, so when we do this, we're going to want to make sure we crimp here just so that we don't get that additional irritation. Coming along that hand in that palm. And that's our second anchor. Uh, so now we're going to tape for that hyperextension. So we're going to flip you over other way, Mel. Okay. Yep, there you go. Um, so I want you to go to where you start to get that pain with extension. Okay. So like right here. Right there. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to back her up a bit, keep her out of that range. And we're essentially going to be making X's over the wrist joint to kind of keep it from getting into that painful range. And she's fine with her palms being covered. It's okay with her when she plays. Yeah. Adding a bit of tension when you pull them, and we're going to overlap these by about half. And we'll do a third one. Same thing, overlapping by half, right across that wrist joint. And now we're just going to re-anchor that. So before we do that, um, I'm going to hold it. Mel's going to go and see if she can get into that painful range. Can you get there now? No, that's good. Not anymore? Okay. Not anymore. What we could also do if we also want to make this a little more stable, our pieces can extend a little bit wider, a little bit longer, and we can flip them over like so to just help secure that tape. But we will do our anchors now. So uh, contract your hand again. Nice tight fist. Good. Okay, open hand. Yep. So turn it sideways for me. Yep. Thank you. Crimping. Hold that can. Yep. Holding in that position. She is a setter, so she does need a little bit of bend, so that's why I want to make sure she's in that functional position when she's volleying. And I'm going to heat mold everything down. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and try it again. Can you get into that painful range or no? No, that's good. It's good? Okay. Uh, so Mel is wearing her uniform already. She yeah. wears a long sleeve. So yeah. we don't have to worry about closing it too much. If we want, we can always add some more hyperfix here just to help close it up. But like we said, she is wearing that long sleeve. Yeah. So she's okay with that. All right, Mel, we're going to get you up. Recheck her PMS.
One, two, three, same, wiggle your fingers. Yep, you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick return to play protocol with her. Yep, yep. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna want you to do flexion and extension with the wrist. How does that feel? Feels really good. That feels good? Yeah. So you can see that limitation between her hands. All right, next we're gonna do some multi planes so maybe get some wrist rotations in. Yep. That feels okay? Feels good. Okay. Next, I want you to kind of mimic that volley position, make sure we can get into it. Yep. So you feel like you can volley with that like that? I can't, yeah. Okay, good. All right, we're going to do some perturbations, so some balance. So don't let me move your wrist, okay? Good. She has her equipment on, uh, so we're going to grab a teammate. And we're going to get her to kind of just catch some volleys to start. So go ahead and catch the ball. Yep. Good. Good, okay, so that's good. Um, everything seems to be good so far with the equipment of the uh, ball. We're going to get her to do a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one with the teammate, so I'm going to toss the ball. She's going to set for her teammate like a game. So here yeah. it comes a bit faster. Here it comes. Here it comes. There we go. Okay, good. And the last thing we want to do is reproduce that MOI. So as we should see, kind of fell on it. So we're going to get her on her knees. And just to start, we'll have her press into the ground, not really falling into it. How's that feel? No, that feels really good. Okay, now you can lift up, kind of fall into it a little yeah. bit. How's that? Feels good. And now try one-handed with just the tape. Good? Perfect. All right, hop up, Mel. You're good to go. Thanks, Larissa. Got any questions? Let me know. Okay,